Welcome, dear friends, to Kardec Radio at 11 p.m., nourishing our souls with the spirit of truth. The spirit of truth comes as this light that we can see here from the sun, and it comes to illuminate our minds. We need illumination. Many people nowadays, as you may have noticed, are downcast, anxious, depressed, because we don't have the north. And in the books, the spirit of truth, we have the confirmation of the north for all of us. It's about the north of the Christ, the Christ consciousness, which is undoubtedly a direction for all of us, all of us who need to align ourselves with the governance of the earth. Have you already accepted the north of life? And today, the north will talk about the coin and the mill. Who is going to tell us that? The spirit, Hilario C. Do you remember reading Andre Louis' books and finding a friend that he made in the spiritual realm named Hilario Silva? He's actually a scholar in spiritism. And he had several excursions with Andre Louis in the lower zones to help and also to help Andre Louis understand and share with us the teachings. So he's a spirit friend of all of us. Hilario Silva comes today in a very beautiful understanding of how we use our resources and the effort we make in life. He was inspired in a particular chapter of the Gospel According to Spiritism, chapter 16. Chapter 16 is titled, and it just escaped me, You Cannot Serve Both God and Mammon. Meaning, it's about the use of our riches, it's about how to balance it all, and especially item one. Item one is a quote from Jesus as in Luke chapter 16, verse 13. No one can serve two masters for he will either hate one and love the other, or he will become attached to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and mammon at the same time. How many people nowadays do we see doing exactly that? They love God and they feel aversion for things that are material. But cannot we cannot forget, let us go to our board to remind ourselves that in Spiritism, chapter one of the Spirit's book, we understand that God, and we're going to write it here, God the supreme intelligence of the universe, first cause of all things, created matter and spirit, created both. So for all of us, it is important to understand that matter is also a child of God, the material principle of course, we would require an element that would connect spirit to matter, matter to spirit, and that is called the universal cosmic fluid. These are the elements of the universe as we understand in spiritism, elements of the universe, blessed as they all are, and in that understanding, today, Hilario Silva comes to you and to me to remind us of how to make peace with matter by focusing on spirit and using matter as a child of God through which I fulfill God's will. So he's symbolizing the coin, matter, in the coin and the spirit and its 
productivity and effort in the meal. So he begins, are you ready? Hilario Silva says, coin is a piece that represents money. And the mill is a piece that grinds something. The coin is strength that values. And the mill is a force that transforms. The coin is finance. The mill is action. The coin is possibility. The mill is sweat. The coin is a resource. The mill is utensil. The coin supports and the mill prepares. Any coin that is not being used is just a promise not fulfilled. And any meal that is not in use is useless instrument. Misdirected coin brings suffering. Poorly governed meal generates disaster. Move the coin in good works. And it will improve your life. Listen to this, friends. Move the coin in good works and it will improve your life. Activate the meal in service and you will have a full table. The coin is the meal of your path. Throw, you, throw your coin today in the meal of the good. Practicing your ideals and progress. And, and progress, education and charity. And tomorrow you will find precious harvests of sympathy and cooperation, joy and light. It's so profound. Hilario Silva, Andre Luis's friend, in all of Andre Luis's books or pretty much many of them, let's say this way, he comes to us in a very wise symbolism, remind us of this. Now let's go back here to the very sharing of the screen, the elements of the universe. What Hilario Silva is doing through the mediums, Chico Xavier and Val Vieira, is reminding us that God created matter, which is coin. Yeah. And the spirit is the force that will work with this coin. So we need to work with it. We need to work with the coin. How so? Because many people think that they don't need to do much. They think that they don't have much. It's only on the billionaires, the millionaires to do charity. But us, we have little money, right? That's why he's talking about the coin. Because if we have one coin that is not being used, it's a promise that is not fulfilled. If we use that coin in the wrong direction, it, we're going to bring suffering. Misdirected coin brings suffering. Many people are indulging right now. Spring is coming in the North Hemisphere. And people are like indulging. Oh, I have some money. I'm going to travel. I don't think it's time to travel. It's time to help. Use that money to help people who are in need. Because why we have an extra coin? There are people who have no coins because they lost their jobs. So it's time to redirect it. Or we're going to be bring suffering. And then you may be asking, Vanessa, how am I going to bring suffering if I misuse the use of money? How? Ready? Let's go back to the screen because this is a lesson with the good spirits. Let's go back. The good spirits are going to tell us the following. We're going to clear it all and begin here. Andrew Lewis, in the book, Evolution into Worlds, Chapter 19 tells us that the pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre
predisposition to illness begins where? Where does it begin? It begins when we make a grave mistake. So then you have an extra money and you buy a beach house. And there are people who have no house. But Vanessa, don't I have the right? Yes, Andrea Luis said in another message here in the spirit of truth at 11 p.m. We cannot tell you, he said, what to do with your money. But we're just letting you know. Like Hilario Silva today, if you misguide that coin, little things, we're going to bring suffering to ourselves. So we need to ask ourselves, how often we use our material resources to indulge in our lives, forgetting that there are people who have little means or no means whatsoever. And that is going to be processed by our consciousness, by our conscience, sooner or later, and an alarm, grave mistake. And the memories of that grave mistake will be rolling and rolling our mental field. And what's going to happen? We're going to create what Andre Luis says, create knots of disturbing vibratory, uh, disturbing vibratory energies in our perispirit, in the perispirit. How do we get rid of those? nodule of disturbing vibrations? Two choices. Okay, one choice. We're going, and then two choices, right? So we're gonna flush them out. Flushing out, how? Love, love in action, which is equal to charity, which is equal to benevolence, which is equal to what we're talking about, or illnesses, illnesses, sufferings. It's up to us. So when Eladio Silva today says that the misdirected coin brings suffering, the poorly governed mill generates disaster. So if I as a spirit in my mental field, I'm not directing to the good, there is disaster. So what is the recommendation? Move the coin in good works and it will improve your life. I think we need that whole statement here. That's for us. Move the coin. Let's move the coin in good works. Good works like the roses of indulgence, but also the good works of sharing $10, $100, some dollars with people who are in need. And that will improve our lives. Why it's going to improve? Because as I am generating the flow I'm giving, I will necessarily receive the benefits that I'm creating. And if I, the spirit, put an effort, make my life an active meal in service, nothing is going to lack. So, Hilario Silva finalizes by saying, the coin is the meal of your path. So let us use the little resources to share and to help others as much as we can. Let us then in the next 24 hours, meditate how we can throw a coin towards the meal of the good. He's not asking a million dollars, he's saying a coin. Chico Xavier, 
when thousands of people lined up to kiss his hand and receive some money, that money is like a dollar, five dollars max, no more than that. And he was always humble enough to share. So you and I today are being asked to go through a self-examination. Go through self-examination. And ask, where are my coins? Sometimes coins are books that we have on the shelf and we don't use this one. We use a lot. We'll keep it. But there are books we have there we don't use. Donate to our library. Donate to a friend whom you think is going to help. You know, here at Cardiac Radio, the headquarters in Chantilly, Virginia, we have a new library in the headquarters. It's Cardiac Radio's library. And Carlos and I personally kickstarted it according to the mentors donating our very books. And we are inviting anyone who is willing to do the same so we can create a library that is referenced. Cardiac Radio is international and we want to create a library in several languages through which people around the world one day will have our own headquarters in which that is going to be a reference for people around the world to have the books in several languages for them to really continue the dissemination of spiritism. But besides that, the call is in the next 24 hours. You and I are being asked to revisit the coins, the coins that will generate the good. Little things for us, huge for others. Maybe I have said this message here before, but I will repeat. In 2014, I was at the Spirit to Society of Baltimore. Virginia was five months old. Carlos, Virginia, and I were there. I was invited to give a talk. It was such a happy night. And then after the very end of the talk, a friend came along, Daniele, and I'll never forget, she offered me her souvenir from Brazil. And then I got to know she was from the very city of Uberaba, where Chico Xavier lived half of his life and died. There, more than half of his life, and then there, or sorry, half of his life. In Uberab, she gave me a souvenir. And that souvenir talked about Chico Xavier had his face. And then I asked her, oh, you're from Uberaba? She said, yes, I am. Then I was so curious. I, I asked her, I said, you know, I always wondered about, you know, the people who lived in Uberaba who met, did you meet Chico Xavier? She said, no, but my mom did. She was one of the people who actually was always in line to get a few, a few bills, a few coins. And then I asked her, really? A few? And then she turned to me and said, Vanessa, for us who had almost nothing, a few is a lot. Chico Xavier in his humility knew how to do exactly what Hilario Silva is saying to us, moving the coin in good works and the coin becoming the meal of our path. Throw your coin today in the meal of the good, practicing your ideals of work and progress, education and charity. And tomorrow, you will find precious harvests of sympathy and cooperation, joy and light. So friends, this reminds us of a true account that Humberto de Campo said in one of his, uh, his writings to Chico Xavier's psychography, talking about a king who discarnated. He wanted to reincarnate, but found nobody available in his family. Then the protecting spirit said, but there's a person who would love to have you as their son. Who is it? It's a little boy whom you gave a piece of 
hard bread when he was young. He never forgot you. He was so grateful. 40 years ago, and to date, he prays for you. Come with me. So they came together in the spirit form, visiting this little house. The house was small, but filled with love. And this man was 40 years of age, 48, I think. He was happy that he wanted to be a father. And it didn't take much longer for him to accept that king as his son. The coins that we give today will tomorrow be precious harvests of sympathy, cooperation, joy, and light. If we misguide the coin, we bring on suffering. But if we use it well, we are going to generate the improvement that we need in our lives. Let us then rejoice with the opportunity of discovering our coins. And in the next 24 hours, you and I have a duty to move that coin that we find in the, in the works of the good. And by doing so, we together will be generating a current of healing light. Thank you, friends. We wish you many blessings and a lot of beauty in discovering your coins and putting it in the meal of the good. Thank you, friends.